Hey, pass me a beer. What's up with that guy? I come here. Uh, that's my boyfriend. Look, at least promise me you won't drink. Alcohol always leads to trouble. Hey, who wants to play drink the beer? Right here. <laughs> you win. All right, what do I win? Another beer. Where is my control panel? <sighs> Show this show's so boring. You guys just talk about him trying to do his damn Jew hickey and it's going up and down. And he's just, oh, that was really loud. Just have a cup of coffee. There it is. All right. I already start this. Coffee. B. Yeah. I kill for a beer. <gasps> Ready to go. Cheap beer and a sympathetic ear. Step right up. I've well, hey everybody, thanks for joining the Bearded Hops podcast. Uh, of course, it's your host, Adam, and uh, as you can see right there on the other side of the internet is Chad. Hi, Chad. Hi, Adam. How are you today? I'm doing good. It was warm. It was nice, and now it's cold again. It got cold. I woke up at we got three degrees. It was like negatives. Um, God only knows what wind chill. It was horrible. Yeah, I know. We got slapped in the face yeah, this week. Was, yeah, it was nice, man. I was 50s. It was getting in. Nope. No mo. So, yeah, we're doing good, and uh, we are raring to go today. On uh, today's episode, we have um, Sam Adams, a new one, a new Sam Adams. Yeah, and um, we will we'll talk about it. And it's it's an interesting one. I actually have to pull up some information about it, but um, it is going to be the um, what is it called? It's just seventy six, right? Just seventy six. Yeah, just the Sam Sam, Adam Sam 76. 76. Get on the camera. There we go. Sam 76. And uh, we'll talk about, about that here in a minute. Um, but this is a new one. I don't even know. How recently was it released, Chad? Do you know? Yeah, I know it's fairly. It is fairly recent. I don't know when, but I just I just read about it um, like a, maybe two, three weeks ago. Yeah. So um, also one thing I just noticed. Uh, okay. Here. Look at the can. You see it says it has the uh, independent craft. Logo yep. on there, I remember. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. That is that awesome. It's the first time. Uh, I may have seen it on one of my other ones. But yeah, this is one of the first times I've seen it. So we're going to be talking about this. Uh, they do only come, as far as I could find, only in, in the nice little cans. Um, and uh, so we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, but some other stuff. Wait, do you want to cover the beer first, or do we want to go on to our fines first? Uh, depends. Do you want to get this beer cracked first yeah, or this beer cracked. I was like, that's what I, that's, that's what I thought. Question. I am kind of thirsty. That's what I thought. All right. So we have the Sam Adam 76, um, like we said right here, it is a new er ish. Yeah. I just, I just looked it up. It, it came to, well, it was added untapped, uh, October 6th of 2017. So just a couple months ago. Okay. All right. Yeah. And it, I mean, I just recently yeah. heard about it. Have you heard about it before this? Nope. Yeah, so I don't know. I just heard about it two weeks ago. Um, I'm typing and there's nothing happening because I'm on the wrong, completely wrong. So screen. I've got some info up on uh, on uh, one of my screens here. Um, if you want to talk about it before we open it. Um, well, yeah, first I figured we just look at the can real quickly. Um, and it's uh, 76 right there. This little inscription uh, here, uh, Sam 76 is a perfect unit of lager and ale, which is interesting. And we'll talk about that. Giving you a craft beer with flavor of an ale and the refreshment and crisp finish of a lager. The result is revolutionary. Um, and then on the side here in the red, uh, it says refreshing, flavorful craft. It is a 12 ounce, 4.7 ABV with 12 IBU. And, I love uh, it. I love it when when uh, brewers put the, the the ABV and the IBU on the can or bottle. You don't really see that all that often with the IBU. You the do, IBUs, yeah, yeah, you definitely see the the, the ABV, but yeah, IBUs. Yep. Really oh yeah, them. ABV. I think ABV. I may be wrong here, but I th I thought ABV is required now. It's actually, probably probably correct. Yeah, I of yeah. course am proper and going to be using my Sam Adams glass, Chad. Um, I have one. Easy. I have one, but I can't find it. I think it's <laughs> I think it's in a box because uh, we went through a bunch. We threw out. No, we didn't throw out a bunch of glasses, but we packed away a bunch of glasses just because we had so many. And I I know for sure 
it's not that I don't know where it is. I know where it is. I just don't know what box it's in. Uh, so I'm not drinking out of my Sam Adams glass today. I have the exact same glass that Adam has, but I'm drinking. I'm going to drink mine out of uh, Badger State Brewing uh, pint glass. And, you know, Badger State's here in Green Bay, so it's the same colors as as Sam Adams. That's what. That's one of the reasons I picked it. A good point. Cool. So, um, you want to tell us a little bit about this beer? Sure. This is an interesting one. It's a uh, it's a union as of the uh, of a lager and an ale. Um, they it's really interesting. They experimented and came up with uh, with this union of of the two. Uh, so, I'm just going to read a little bit, just a very short paragraph from Sam Adams' website. So, we get anything wrong. Uh, <laughs> revolutionary new brew, new beer. Um, Experimenting with both lager and ale yeast, yeast strains, the brewers developed a unique brewing process that takes two active fermentations and blends them together to create a deliciously harmonious result. The process delivers a distinct flavor that showcases slight fruitness of an ale with a balanced drinkability and smoothness of a lager. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, it's, let's see, they've got the, the hop varieties they use are Cascade, Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe, because nice. Cas- Cascade and Citra are, are fairly common, obviously. Yeah. Uh, malt varieties are Sam Adams Two Row Pale Malt, White Wheat, and Carafoam. Nice. Um, I, I'm, I'm going yeah. to crack it. I can't wait. It's more. light golden in color. Yep. And as Adam already stated, as it says on the cans, 4.7 ABV and 12 IBUs. So super drinkable. I had a beer this afternoon that had two IBUs. I'll tell you about that in a minute. This is a uh, heady. That sounds like our sessions podcast. <laughs> Good pouring plug. If you have it, no, I'll, I'll tell you right now. After <laughs> pouring it um, into this glass, uh, I just got. I mean, it, it's away from me right now. If you can see on the camera, but I got a whiff I, of hops. I know. I did too. I mean, mine's right in front of me, but I'm yeah. It's. For being a 12 IBU beer, the hoppy, you can smell hops right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, so I did a straight pour, so I've got I've got a, a half beer, half head, which I wanted because I want to get some of the aroma uh, off of that uh, head. I've so. got like three fingers of head here, so. Yeah, it's about what I've got. Got a lot here. Yep. But I guess that kind of surprises me, the, the hop. I mean, if, if I didn't know better, I'd be like, wait a minute, this is an IPA. Well, it smells like an IPA. Yeah. So that's what, um, I mean, if you if you are on our, our Facebook group, and if you're not, then I don't know what's wrong with you, and you should probably get on it. But if you're not on our Facebook group, we did have uh, somebody posted, um, I think it was Nate, talking about how he opened up a, um, opened up something and their aroma was really good. I think it was that was it. He poured it, and the aroma got different. And then he tasted it, and it wasn't what he was expecting. And you know, when you when you brew, um, part of, and part of the brewing process, um, the typical standard saying, or as it goes, is the the hops that you put in early in in the boiling process are what brings the flavor out. Later in the process, brings the aroma. So what you really can do, you can really kind of trick people, and and you know, put a, a whole lot of hops, not a whole lot. But you can put some very fragrant hops near the end of the boil and they'll smell those more, but when they taste them, they won't really taste them that much. So I don't know if that's exactly what they did, but but the fact that this is a, a lager and um, an ale. An a-, a lager ale infusion. And it's only 12 IBUs. It has a lot of, uh, a lot of fragrance. A lot of fragrance. I'm um, still... As you can see right here from this camera angle, you can see the, the kind of the light of it. I mean, it's, it yeah, light. it's uh, it's not completely translucent. It's yeah, it's, it's got not. a little bit of opaqueness to it. Uh, we do have bubbles rising from the bottom. There is nothing, no sediment, nothing floating in it. So it's a very clear beer, but not, not, com- not a translucent beer. Right. Yep. It is definitely so. Um, I did mention the uh, the sessions podcast. You want to. Yeah, so Tell about that real quick while we wait for the head to settle. <laughs> wait till we can actually drink the beer. Uh, so we did put out something uh, recently called Sessions, um, and it is just another series, really, for us. Um, and 
it's really just a time for us to hang out, watch sports. I guess in the last one we watched sports and drink a beer. And and we talk about the beer that we're drinking. We mentioned, hey, we're drinking a blah, 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 blah. But uh, right. we, we don't go into the depth of, hey, here's what the can is. Here's what it says. Um, we don't really talk a whole lot about it. So. Yeah, just what it is we're drinking and if it's good or you know, good, bad, whatever. But yeah, it's not going to be a completely in-depth review of any any beer. Uh, we're just it's basically just uh recording, um, uh, putting out there a, a slightly different series than what we're what we're doing here that has some structure to it. The sessions podcast will have no structure ever. Yeah. Um just we're two, just two dudes hanging out and sometimes we'll get a third person in there. So yeah, yeah. So we're, I think actually the next one we're going to record, we will have uh, a guest with us. So yeah. so if you guys want to check that out, it's on our YouTube channel. How do you get to our YouTube channel? Will you go to our website, beardedhops.com, and you can find the link there. So let's take a sip because I am thirsty. Yep, I'm ready. Okay, that's different. It's It is very smooth. Yeah, there's no bitter there's no bitterness to it. I'm trying to decipher the flavor that I'm getting though. No. Um it I can taste it's got some fruitiness to it. It's uh, very very subtle. Uh the interesting thing for me on that first sip was as I as I sniffed while I took the drink I'm getting that hops the hops smell. I take the drink uh it's very smooth like any lager would be. Um, with a little bit of a fruity fruitiness to it. It's not not a fruity beer at all, but you no. can get a little bit of a fruity uh, fruity flavor. Um, boy, it's weird. It's almost like an ale and a lager combined. Oh, I wonder <laughs> what if that could be. Uh, I should be a comedian. Hmm. That's, inter- that's, a, it's a, that's it, interesting. It really is. It's not... I like it. You know, it's not something I'm, it's not, it's definitely drinkable. Absolutely drinkable. I do, oh yeah. I mean, you, I get the hot bits in the back of my throat. The back of my tongue. <sighs> That's interesting. I get them kind of on the sides, sides of my mouth, sides of my tongue. Hmm. I like this one. I do. I think this is one, you know, uh, a lot of times, a lot of times, uh, craft beers are. Um, not, heavy is not the word. That's not really the right word to say. They're, but they. I, I've always had a hard time finding a summer beer that was a craft beer that's not an IPA. Put it that way. Um, yeah, I know what you're saying. Craft beers have uh, they're all, they're very. Um, they all have kind of a specific flavor to them. Right. You know, and you can you can find your particular area that you like. Um, and I mean, if you're talking a summer beer, really the only go to summer beer that I can think of for me is a Kolsch, uh, which I drink all year round. I had one yesterday, but um, it's it's uh, it's hard to put your finger on it because using a descriptive word like heavy makes it sound like it's either going to be high in alcohol or high in IBUs or uh, to me anyway. And I, uh, it's just like using the word big. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't work as a, doesn't work as a good, a good descriptor for me. Now it's a 4.7 ABV that would put it in like a sessions beer. Yeah. Yeah. What's ABW alcohol by weight. Where do you see that at? It's on their website. Three per oh. uh, four point seven percent ABV, three point eight percent ABW. It's got to be by weight, alcohol hmm. by. Yeah, okay, that's what. It, okay, oh, right at the top there, it says alcohol by, by volume slash weight. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I like this. Um, I will say for me, I'm having a hard time kneeling down the flavors of it, but I like it. I mean, it's, um, it's, it's just kind of like a, a normal, um, multi, multi, you know, malt, beer, malt beer, multi beer to me. Um, cause it's got a more hop than malt though. 
You're not. Well, that's because, yeah, but that's because it's the union between the two. Well, I know. Yeah. I don't know if I, yeah, I definitely, I think the, I think the hoppiness tasting the hoppiness though is, has more to do with the smell as you're taking the drink. Cause without the smell, if you take try, I mean, take a drink and don't breathe in to me, then it's more malty. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're saying. I can still taste the hops on the finish. I need to breathe, but that's what you're saying. I can still taste the hops on the finish if I don't take a breath when I drink it. But if I, yeah, if I breathe when I drink it, I get, I can taste the hops the whole time. If I breathe while I'm drinking, that's an important, um, anybody listening, please don't, don't not breathe while you're drinking. That's yeah. Yeah. I mean, do as, do as we say, not as I do. Especially when it was that the one more time we were talking about uh, what were you talking about drinking? Um, drink, you're drinking that. Well, we were, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. We were talking shut about up. drinking. Shut up. Let me finish my sentence. I'm not even going to let you get it out. Shut up. <laughs> oh, when you were talking about the commuter beer and we were talking about <laughs> drinking on our commute. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I, was, I was wondering, I was like, maybe we shouldn't put that in and we're promoting uh, <laughs> drinking yeah. while driving. But people, we don't commute to work. That was the whole joke. We, we don't drive to work. Absolutely. Uh, we, we both, both work, work from home. Work from home, and, and our morning commutes are. Adam, I think, has to deal with some stairs in the morning. Yeah. Uh, I I have a ranch, so I don't have stairs to deal with. So I, I'm a little less. Uh, my my commute's a little less dangerous to get to the coffee maker, but uh, that is the extent of our commute is walking to the coffee maker. Exactly. Right there. So right there is what we're drinking, uh, the Sam seventy six. Um, and so let's let's move on. So uh, also, I should say at this point, we're several minutes in, but uh, if you are listening on the podcast, this is also available on YouTube for you to watch. And so you can see <laughs> what we're showing <laughs> to the camera because um, we've already uh, showed the can to the camera and then we've showed the uh, the bottles. So you're probably like, well, what do I see? This isn't a podcast. Well, you can go to our website uh, or you can go to our YouTube page and uh, it's all right there. There we go. Watch. Yes, you may watch. So, uh, Chad, what did you have this week? Well, we haven't had a whole, uh, we haven't had too many days between podcasts here. We, we, uh, typically will do one podcast a week. Um, we decided to throw in another one this afternoon. Um, just for, because we like doing it so much just, just because, yeah, we honestly do. Honestly that is, do. That's really the truth. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I have, I have just a few to report. I had, uh, after the 200 ale that we did the last podcast, I had a Breckenridge brewery, uh, nitro vanilla Porter, nice. which, uh, Breckenridge is an, is an, uh, AB InBev brand now. Um, but I had one left in my refrigerator and I love nitros. So I had that. And then I had, would you rate that? I rated that a three. Not yeah, as they, good as not as good as what uh, most porters and stouts get for me. Yeah, that one. That's the yeah. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one that is lacking of flavor, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. uh. Yeah, you're saying. Yep. Yep. And then I had. Uh, I think there was a there's a Casper in there and a commuter Kolsch. Uh, I did not put those on untapped, but your regulars. Uh, yeah, my regulars. And uh, when my next check in was uh, an Anchor Brewing beer, the Anchor Steam beer, which I think is what like their first one that's one that's been around forever the porter uh, no just uh the anchor steam beer oh it's, the anchor steam yeah 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 it's a cal they call it california common um it's it's like a lager uh gave that 375 that was delicious i like that one a lot then i had uh the blithering idiot by weyerbacher brewing there in pennsylvania this was a bl- uh, barley wine uh my first taste on this one was like was weird uh, didn't really like it. it. Smells delicious. This beer has one of the best smells. Um, Which one was that? Sorry, Weyerbacher's Weyerbacher's Blithering Idiot Barley Wine. Oh yeah, smelled oh smelled so good. I was really disappointed in the first taste. Uh, kept going and it finished uh, as I noted in Untapped. It finished way better than it started because I I was probably I like remember a, that you were you were Marco Polo me saying yeah I don't like this I don't like this and then yeah as you kept drinking it was better. Yeah, I think I probably, if it stayed the same, I, I was probably at a 275 to start out with that one. Like, I'm not going to buy this one again. Uh, it finished at a 375. Um, 
but yeah, once the once the flavor just kind of sank in on my tongue, I think uh, it it was really good. Uh, then one I had to just today that I checked in um, was this one. This beer is probably one of the craziest beers I've ever had, and I I put that in my comments on Untapped. This is called Infectious Groove by Osos, and um, it's a sour. And I Marco I Marco Polo had them when I took the first sip of this one, and uh, I, he laughed his ass off because of my face. It's so sour, but I'm really liking these sour beers. Um, so it was really really hard to drink to begin with. Uh, should I should I just show that Marco Polo to everybody or no? Sure. I keep talking yeah. while I bring it up. It's pretty see funny. Can, see if you can find it. It is. It is. It is kind of funny. Um, so this beer is. Uh, it's a sour uh, Berliner or Berliner. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Weiss, and it's 4.8 percent ABV. So it's sessionable. Only this. Only two IBUs. There are no hops in this beer, whatsoever. Um, but it gets. Uh, I mean, it's got lemon, lemony taste to it it's uh, acidic uh it's got some lactic tones to it which adam probably wouldn't like because of that um and there <laughs> the description of this beer on their on the bottle says sour tart wild shocking and all of those are true it's it's a it's a crazy one but i rated <laughs> this and i ended up rating this a 375 i by the time i was done drinking it even though i could barely feel my tongue <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was delicious. <laughs> I'm actually trying to, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding the I think I may have found it here. Um Yeah, I'm having a hard time finding it. So yeah. Um right, well let me see if I can find it here so first. That was, I think I know I think I know where it is. <laughs> so that was a that was a good week. I I went to I had um not near as Yeah, here it is. You got it? Yeah. I gotta put it to the camera now so everybody can see. So I had to pour this out of the bottle to see what color it was. <laughs> It's very, uh, it's not so clear all the way through, but it's definitely just a regular. Uh, oh, wait a second. Uh, white beer. White color. No. Still a little intoxication. Hold on. Marco. Okay. So, uh, I thought this was kind of a good idea. I ran the dishwasher while I was gone. <laughs> I have a really, really warm uh, <laughs> glass for the snowdrift porter. Come on. So this was cold. This was nice and warm. Yeah, I'm warming up a porter. Uh, warm up Come back. Porter. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and give this infectious groove a try. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Joey. <laughs> Holy shit, that made my eyes water. <laughs> that was awesome. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what kind of beer it is. I'll have to look it up. I don't know what I'm drinking here. I don't know what just happened to me, but oh my god! Whoa! Holy shit! That was so funny. <laughs> it seriously made my eyes water, it, but I, I liked it. I mean, I, I'm getting into these sour beers a little bit, so I thought it was really good. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I was driving when uh, I got that one, and my and my wife was just laughing. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So for me this week, um, I of course had uh, the Snowdrift Vanilla Porter a few times. Still, that's this one I have in my fridge. Oh yeah, I, I had that today too. Yeah, and again, like we've said, I think a couple of times, you let the thing warm up. I mean, it's a, I've been amazed the last two times when I've actually let it sit for a little bit and warm up. The vanilla just comes right out. It's it's delicious. Um, then, um, did I talk about going to Tighthead last time or not yet? Did we not? Was it after the last one? Oh, I don't know. I remember. I uh, so whatever. I went to uh, two breweries, I think, since the last episode. Um, I went to Tighthead uh, in in Mundelein, Illinois. Um, I think we actually talked about this on the session. I think actually. Um, and yeah, I had some. Just- yeah, I had some beers there um and so i had a uh, bear's choice which was a, an ipa um and then i had uh, the actually the reason i went because this this one is a new one that i hadn't heard of the the hat trick and that's it's a triple it's a belgium triple and it was really good uh give it a, a four then um just last night of course i had some i mean i had casper in there and um i had a couple couple of the two hearted ales i am liking that beer actually um i've been the two hearted yeah because i when i bought it i bought a six pack of it didn't have any singles of it mm-hmm. so 
you know, I had some left over from uh, when we raided it last time, and, and I'm liking that one. So it's not, you know, that happy as hell uh, beer. So the other, another one that I had uh, before I got to my uh, other brewery that we went to, my wife and I went to, um, is Off Color Brewing, and that is also in uh, Chi Town. And I never had this style before. Sati, I think it's how you pronounce it. S A H T I. Mm-hmm. Um, it's called it's bear bear um, <laughs> oh yeah that's maybe. the one that has a funny label on it yeah the label so if you look uh for those of you on watching this on youtube this is my picture on untapped but the the picture of this beer uh, i think it's hilarious because they're they're blurring out the junk of the bear <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the bear bear um that was that was good it was different um i've never had it's a finnish uh beer apparently i had to kind of read up a little bit and um get to know that style uh, but it was tasty definitely tasty i don't know if it's something i'll drink con- a lot but it was nice to, to try uh then last night my wife uh and i and uh our neighbor and friend jake went to only child brewing and if you are ever in the chicagoland area you can get up to gurney go to only child um they're a small nano brewery and you go in there um you know they're they're small but they are the, the atmosphere inside that place is amazing. It's just very chill, uh, laid back. And, uh, of course, they had the Blackhawks game on, which I, of course, enjoy doing. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, from what you showed me on the from Marco Polo last night, uh, it looked like a really cool place. I have not been to it, um, yeah. but it, it's, it looked like just a hangout brewery, um, kind of an yeah. industrial-looking room, tasting room. Um, you could see the tanks and... Um, it just looked casual, laid back. I mean, like most, you know, most tasting rooms are casual, but this one just, it looked like it had a cool feel to it. Yeah. I went, it was the second time I'd been there. Um, but it was like probably a year and a half ago since. So, but when I, you know, we went in last night and they have, um, you know, some tables kind of up front and then you walk a little bit farther toward the back. So you get to like the, the serving area and the people up front, you know, they had their dogs there, you know, and they're just hanging out oh, with their yeah. dogs. That's and, right. Uh, yeah. I forgot they're dog friendly. That's cool. Uh, in the back, when you get toward more toward the tanks and everything, they have some leather couches sitting there so you can chill there. You can sit at tables, whatever you want to do. Uh, they don't serve food, um, but they have menus there for like, you know, pizza places, Papa John's um, or not Papa John's, but uh, probably do have Papa John menus. But I was thinking of the sandwich place. What is it? Johnny. No, uh, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's, that place, yeah, freaky fast. Um, so you can order in um, and eat there. Um, but uh, there, so it's been a little bit since I'd been there. And so when I was going, I was like, well, I'm not going to get a lot of check-ins. But I actually got quite a few check-ins because a lot of these were new that I didn't have last time. So um, <coughs> scroll, 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 scroll through my own tab. So um, start out with the Imaginary Friends. Uh, that is an, an IPA. Very, very tasty um, and it's it's dark though. It is a it looks like, and if you can tell, I don't know how my picture will come out here, but you know it looks like it's a stout. Um, it looks dark. Yeah, it's a very dark stouty looking, but it is an IPA, very hop forward. Um, but it was very good. I really like that one. Um, they have the lumber sexual lager. Um, <laughs> it's a Vienna lager um, that was very had a really nice taste of that one. Uh, no way, no way, Jose. That was uh, just a pale ale. I wanted to see the IBU, doesn't list IBU. Oh, there are 38 IBU on that, so yeah, just a pale, pale ale, not an uh, India pale ale. Um, the other one, um, so the one that surprised me and I liked a lot, um, was Gray Area Beer Project Batch Number Five. And oh yeah, you you did point that one out specifically. Yeah, that was it surprised me because on the on the blackboard that they have there where they they kind of write up, you know what what's there. Uh, they this one listed as being it's it's aged in bourbon barrels. I did I did talk to the bartender there about it a little bit. It is aged in bourbon barrels, um, and it's but it's aged it's second aged I guess. So they they use those bourbon barrels for a different beer, empty it out, and then put this beer in and age it again with cucumber. Um, so when you age it that second time, it gets a whole lot of more wild yeast staying in there, which brings mm-hmm. just flavors out to it. Also, it helps with the sour. Um, I don't know. Is this leaving? Is this listed as a sour? I don't know that it is. It's listed as a saison. Um, but it definitely hits you. Well, as I mean, a sour. Saison, yeah, I mean saisons are typically 
typically on the sour side on of the things. sour side but this was like you know you feel it in the back of your jaw type sour so um yeah but then it has that hint of cucumber it was just it was really good it was different i i, I first tried it jake our friend he got um a flight so i took a sip of it out of his his flight and then i went mm, and ordered, yeah. i went and ordered like a whole glass of it it was it was it was very very good yeah it sounds delicious to me i mean i i'm a i'm a huge fan of cucumbers so i mean it just Anything with cucumber, you like a cucumber gimlet is one of my favorite booze drinks. Yeah, I think um, when when you come down here, good. we will yeah. record during the day and go to a couple brews during the night. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> we tried. I also tried Syndrome, another one of their IPAs. Uh, don't tell mom the baby Citra's dead. That is, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I saw that. That on is the... their IPA. It's, I think it's a, it's a double <laughs> IPA. That's one actually. I can. I've had before. You can get it at like uh, around here. You can get it at like some of the movie theaters and stuff like that. So um, that one uh, was definitely, I knew about that one. Silent Treatment is um, a Irish dry stout. That was pretty good as well. So I had a few, I had quite a few check-ins. I also earned my seven day in a row badge. So I don't know if I should be, like I, I kind of tweeted out, I'm not sure if I should be proud of this, but seven days in a row checking in a beer for me. So, <laughs> Yeah, you had a much bigger week of check-ins than I did. But, the, you know, anytime you go to a brewery, Man. You got to do flights, so and yeah, that's that's awesome way to get get some good uh, good check in activity. Yeah, I've really been trying to um, <clears throat> hit the locals. I mean, we talk all the time about you know pr- promoting and um, being for the local guys. Um, you know, and even when I go to the store, I'll try and find somebody who is local. Even I even try to really try to look hyper local, like somebody who's really within driving distance. I can easily get to um, right. And only child is one that I could, I could go to all the time. There are a lot, it's a lot of, it's a very nice area, nice place. Um, the atmosphere, the, you know, the, the, everybody's nice. You can ask, you can ask as many questions as you want. I mean, my wife went up there and she, she of course my wife always looks to me and goes, what do you think I'll like? I'm like, well, I don't freak, I don't know. <laughs> You know, I, what I can easily tell you, honey, is if it says IPA, don't get it because you don't like IPAs. Yeah, exactly. Other than that, <laughs> I can't <laughs> tell you what you're going to like. So I, I said, just talk to the guy, you know. So she went up there and asked him. Um, must have been a lot of questions. She was up there for a while, and they just were very helpful. So really cool place. If you're up in, the, in Gurney, it's in Gurney, Illinois. Uh, go check them out. I hope to go back. They, all, they do have live music sometimes. They didn't have it last night. Um, but I have um, on on my untapped. I do have notifications for events for them as well as Tighthead, who I went to last week, and we'll be checking them out more. So, uh, uh, only child guys, if you're listening, thank you very much. It was it was very good, and you will see me back hopefully next time. Uh, we'll be able to drag chat along. Yeah, I I hope to make. It. I mean, I can't. I, I will definitely go there. I actually can't wait to go there. So, uh, only child, uh, looking forward to it. Looks like yeah. you guys have some fantastic brews. So we did not um, see what we're rating this. I'm actually taking my picture. I, front I know. Actually, I thought of that while you were going through your beer list. We didn't give a f- we didn't give an initial impression of uh, where we thought this would rate. So where you at? What do you think? Well, currently, or where did it, where did I start? Start. Let's do start. Yeah, where did you start at? I started at just a three. Yeah, I thought. I thought it was, um, you know, it, it's it's good and easily drinkable, um, and I would definitely drink it again if it were handed to me. I'm not sure I would, I'm not sure I would actually buy more of it. But uh, so I'm at, I'm just at a three to just to start with here. Yeah, I think I'm right. I think I'm right there with you. I was between a three and a three two five. Um, you know, it is something, I mean, it's, it's good to drink. I think this is something I might want to revisit in, uh, the summertime. Um, because I would, I kind of feel like it's a, it's a warmer weather drink than like what we're in right now, you know? Yeah. Um, cause it, ha- it is crisp, you know, and it's clean. Um, so I think I, 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 I want to revisit it then, but I do, I, it's good. Like you said, though, I don't know. I don't know that I will go out of my way to buy it, like, you know, um, a case or whatever of it, but you know, it's good. Yeah. I mean, especially if you, if I compare this to the, or the same Adam standby, just the regular Boston lager. I mean, I, yeah. I like the Boston lager, 
I mean, I, 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 I would buy that and drink it anytime. I'm not sure I would do that with this one. Really? And um, it, it comes off to me, it comes off to me very IPA ish. Like it's not, I mean, it's not in the bitterness, I guess it's, not a, but it's hoppy. It's the I mean, it's flavor of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's a, for me, it's the smell. That's why it comes off that way for me. I you take the, I take a sip and I smell and all, and all you smell is hops. Mm-hmm. I don't smell any fruitiness. Doesn't smell sweet. I just smell hops. Yeah. Yeah. So I am, the I com- am at a three as well. They, I've been, I went through uh, some comments here on untapped about this beer and I'm not going to read all of them. Obviously there's thousands of them, but they're all over the place. So uh, one guy says, this is all day. This is an all day crusher. This is a light beer game changer. Yeah. Uh, and then this one guy says, can is misleading. Didn't realize it was a light beer, which I don't know what, I don't know what classifies a, a light beer. I thought light beers were like less than 4%. Uh-huh. Right. I mean, isn't a Bud Light three, three, six, or I don't know. I don't drink I don't it, know. but I mean, light in color. Sure. But yeah, I mean, longer can is mis- may have told you it was going to be a little bit lighter than like a, but it's not like it doesn't, it's not like a, it's not like a Bud Light, like a light like ABV. It's not like a less than four percent. That's what I consider light beer. Yeah. Um, but then this one, this guy, this is interesting. So people use on on Untapped, if not explained, is kind of kind of meaningless because you know when we do these when we do the podcast, I tell I always tell you three is my three is my bottom rating for a beer that I would buy again which means it's good enough to buy or good enough to buy again. Anything higher that it's got something special to it. Anything below a three doesn't mean it was a bad beer. It just means I'm not going to buy it again. So without knowing what, a, why a person rates something the way they do, it's kind of, it, it's somewhat misleading because this guy here says, I'll take my 30 pack of PBR for less than a 12 pack price of this, but he rated it a three and a half. Yeah, so. I know. That's the thing. That's <laughs> that is the thing about untapped. Like if if you there's no guideline to how to rate, like everybody has their own rating right guide, system. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you know, I might sit here and go, wow, a three is really high. Right. But then this other person was like, Man, that's really a shitty beer. So that's why yeah. I, I do think like I, I don't go on untapped and really look at other people's ratings as a determining determining factor, whether I'm going to like the beer, because I don't know what that dude's thinking. What I, I use, like for me, I'll use untapped to know my history and if right. I like the beer or not. And, but my friends like you and Dan and Jake, I'll look at theirs because I know them. I know what they mm-hmm. drink. I know what their styles are. Right. So I can, I can say, okay, well, Chad like this. I'll, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably like it too. Um, or you know jake like this there's not a chance i'm not joking um (laughs) (laughs) you know uh so yeah i I, it's it's just kind of funny um reading the comments as well can be kind of funny too you have the people who um are not beer people they're just you know they're they're just not beer people um that are on there for whatever reason but then you have the real like the uh, beer elitist as i would call them and sometimes you're just like, okay, just just drink the damn beer and shut up. Yeah, yeah, just relax a bit. Just relax. It's beer. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> oh gosh. Unless you're a beer professional and you have to take it seriously, that's a different well, story. Okay. I mean, if you're getting paid, like if you want to pay me to to do beer, I'll be serious as you want me to be serious. But until I like, start getting paid. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So this that's Sam Adams. Um, yeah. So our initial is a uh, three. Um, and I'm actually about halfway in, I think, yep. at this point. I'm just a little past halfway. Yeah. I'm about halfway there. And I'm holding at a three. I, I don't I don't see me being able to go up uh really at all. Nope. Um but again, I, I what you said is is very true for me too. A three, you know, um if it's a three or above, it's something I would buy again. You know, if it's above right. a three, a three and a half, definitely a four and above, I would definitely, that, there's something I like about it and I will get it, you know, um, yeah. three and yeah. below. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not. But uh, uh, for but again, for me, I mean, three and below doesn't mean the beer was necessarily all that bad. Uh, it just means I'm not going to buy it again. You know, anything above a four is special. Three to four is 
you know, those are those, those are the good beers that I'll buy again above a four is like, this is something I really liked and below yep. a three, you know, two, seven, five. Yeah. Good beer. I'm not going to buy it again. So, and so here we are, I guess at the halfway point and we're saying a three still, right. Or have you gone down to two, seven, five? Well, I'm going to stay at a three for now, but yeah, I think I know where it's going to go. <laughs> yeah. I, Cause right now I will say that, um, at the halfway point, the flavors changed a little bit. And I'm, I'm I the hoppy I'm, smells kind of gone away a little bit or halfway down, but I'm still tasting it. That's yeah. my thing. I'm still tasting it. Yeah. And it's, it sits on the back of my tongue. That, that flavor. It's a weird beer. Do you get any grapefruit weird. flavor? Grapefruit? No? no, I don't either. Somebody, I just saw somebody comment on here. It says it tastes like grapefruit. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not eating that at all. Um, the other thing also is that, you know, mine was, I, they didn't have it in the cold section at my liquor store. So it was warm when I brought it home. Mm, uh, yeah. I, I put a couple cans in the freezer to kind of get them down so we could record. Um, so it wasn't, now again, I don't know. Should this be drinking cold, drink cold or not? Like it doesn't really give us a temperature guide anywhere, does it? I don't think so. No, I'm sure that it's meant to be drank cold though. Yeah. So, you know, as this warms up, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I, I'm not liking it as it warms up. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. Um, it's getting almost skunky. Like at the back of my throat, it's almost a skunkiness as it, as I drink it now. I'm, and I'm down to the, you know, a little, a little below half here. So, yeah. Yep. That's um, about the same. And I'm being very careful right now because I spilled a Casper on my desk this week. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and and I lost a keyboard. My Bluetooth keyboard uh, died from from that. So <laughs> every time that I sucks. every time I move, I'm like, "Where's the beer? I don't want to spill anything." <laughs> it's like the first time I've done that, and even this phone was sitting out, and you can kind of see like you can't really see on the camera up here in the white. Yeah. There's like just like beer on it. It's like whatever. <laughs> uh, so that, that's at the halfway point. We're still sitting at a three on on this uh, good old Sammy seventy six. I was like, I was excited about this one, but uh, you know, whatever. I know I was too. So it was so was your wife. She was like, oh my she god, why yeah, didn't we get it? it? So I don't know if she's had a chance to try it yet. But I think also what was intriguing about this it was the the brew process, right? I yeah. haven't really seen. Yeah, heard the, of this process the union between the lager and the ale yeah that's that was it that's interesting i mean it's it's uh what i say brewed as set up as a lager but use the ale fermentation process or something like that because the article i read yeah i didn't i didn't get that far it's interesting on on their website for small plates they get very specific on their food pairings small plates pigs in a blanket <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. who, who eats those regularly um, 10 year olds. Yeah. Uh, entrees, grilled pork chop, bacon, cheeseburger, grilled hot dogs or brats. So, I mean, it's, it's a very ballparky beer. Oh, uh, that's true. That's a good point. I didn't even think about, yeah, this will, you think this will show up at, uh, at a Boston ballpark. I didn't, didn't the Red Sox sign them as their beer? Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah I'm sure so it's going to be all over, sure. all over the stadiums in the, in the, uh, Boston area. Boston area. Yes. Uh, and on their website, they have a little video about it, but yeah, they don't, there's nothing in writing that I could talk about their brew process, but it is, it is a and different should, brew process. I apologize to everybody in Boston because I, I probably didn't say Boston, right? But I've got a couple of friends. One, I got a good friend that lives in Plymouth, just south of Boston, and he's, he always gives me shit when I try to do the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a harpoon. Gosh. Uh, so uh, we are past the halfway, but what, what else do we have to talk about today? I can't even remember. <laughs> so I had uh, one one quick story I wanted to sh- wanted to bring up here. And this is actually this. This has to do with breweries in Wales. So Welch breweries. Um, and it's from the Wales online newspaper. But this has to do, some, with, do with something they're calling the fourth annual uh, triannuary. And I guess that breweries over there which this is weird to me because I think that breweries around here anyway, probably do pretty well in January because there's not much else to do inside. I mean, there's lots of stuff to do outside. Well, yeah. Especially up here in the North. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, like nobody's right. I mean, if you're planning on doing winter sports and you're outside, there's a shit ton of stuff to do, but if you want to be inside, there's not a whole lot to do. So I think breweries probably do pretty well here, but 
according to this article, breweries in Wales don't do well in January. So they invented triannuary, meaning get out there, uh, do the opposite of dry January, which is the whole New Year's resolution thing where I'm giving up this and that, which is all bullshit anyway. <laughs> um, uh, sorry for any of you uh, resolutionists out there. I'm not one. <laughs> but uh, the opposite of dry January. So go out there and try as many beers as you can from as many breweries as you can because these breweries, they, they suffer. So if we have any Welsh listeners, try January is here. That is funny. And and I I think I am going to, I'm, I'm taking part in try January, try January as often as I can. Well, I think we are doing our part already. I mean, yeah, I've, yeah, already been, I've already been to two breweries this year. I've probably checked in more beers, um, especially independent craft beers on Untapped than I have in a while. Um, uh-huh. Way to go, Wales. I, I, I'm along, I agree with you. <laughs> try annuary. Try as in T-R-Y, right? T-R-Y, try annuary. Yeah. I like that. That's that's a good. Uh, I yeah, that was a, dry January. No, thank you. I'll pass. Thanks for trying, though. <laughs> Thanks for trying. <laughs> trying. Trying. Oh, I get it. That was yeah. That was so funny. Oh man, drink. You see, I just mm. did the. Old... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is. I'm honestly like I'm at the <laughs> the last bit of this beer. And I don't know. I don't know about yours. I don't know the temperature of yours. Mine is. I'm not. Gonna, it's not room temperature, but it's warmer. Mine's warmed up. I I don't like it right now. Like I I really I don't like it at all right now. And I usually like Sam Adams. Uh, yeah, like I, I said, said the Boston, I like yep. the Boston Lager. Even the Boston Lager, the light Boston Lager is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I you know I haven't had their IPA though. Uh, I haven't had that one of theirs. <clears throat> There, the one my wife, my wife absolutely loves is their um, White Christmas. It's, oh their, yeah, yeah. That's our limited release Christmas uh, ale, and that's really good actually. Um, and so that we always have in the fridge uh, during the holidays. Um, this one, I'm gonna. I, it's a swing and a miss for me for Sam Adams on this one. I'm not. I mean, I I, I know you bought a six pack of it. Or no, you bought. I'm sorry, you bought a no. single. I bought yep. a six pack. Yep. I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting who I am and who you are. Totally confused. I mean, wow. you and me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Easy for you to say. Yeah, that's what. I, I just should probably just go straight to whiskey now. Um, I got a six pack also because my wife wanted to try it. Yep. So, um, I will. I will try it again when it's colder and been sitting there a little bit longer. But like right now, I am. I'll save my 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 number to like finish this last three gulps, but it's I'm done. Looking, it's not looking good. I'm done and ready to move on to the next one. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> By that I mean I'm not I'm not I'm not thrilled with this one. What is your <clears throat> what's your final rating, there, kiddo? Two two point five. Why you and drop you and down a half? Yep. Yeah, because um, fell out. if I look at it uh, on Untapped in the future and I see I rated a two seven five, then I might think, well, maybe I'll give it one more chance. Uh, but I, I honestly just didn't really care for this one. <laughs> You're saving the future you <clears throat> from yes. Here again. I'm saving. <laughs> I'm saving the future me. Future self. I oh, know. I. I was going to do a check in on the computer, but then I'm not going to get my picture. I got to get on my phone. Yeah, I think um, I can't stay at a three. And a two, seven, five. I don't think I like it enough for that either. I think I'm I'm, I'm at the two, five also. It's just uh, um, the way it finished. It started. It started much better than what it finished. I think. It surprised me when we, like I said, when I first cracked it open and poured it and I got that whiff of hops. I don't know what I was expecting, but that's not what I was expecting, especially with a, what was it? What was the IBU on this guy? Four? 12. 12. No, that's alcohol, yeah. 12. Um, yeah. 12. Yeah, I'm going to do the two and a half on this one. 
Yeah, I just uh, it just wasn't it just, it just wasn't good enough uh, to buy again. No, no joy. No joy for you. Now again, I do reserve the right, of course, to come back later after I've had a few of them and. I don't know if a few of them, but after I've tried it again, and you know, I might I might rate it a little bit higher. Um, as we've talked about before, a lot of times these ratings were dependent upon your mood, uh, what you had to eat. Although I haven't really had anything to eat, um, the environment in which you're in, the temperature of the beer. So I'm going to give it another shot, uh, but I don't really have that high of hope. So, um, yeah. yeah. I I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm still I'm trying to edit my check in. Yeah. So I mean, look, if you you know, I would love to hear somebody out there who you know who has tried it. Um, you know what their thoughts were on it. Um, we can definitely do that by getting in contact with us. Uh, you can hit us up on the old Facebooks, uh, beaterhops.com. You get all the links there to everything. Uh, all the socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Hey, <laughs> and if you listen to us on iTunes, give us a review. Give us a review. Oh, we got to do that. Nate. Yeah. Uh, Nate gave us our first review on iTunes. Thank you very, very much, Nate. We really do appreciate it. And um, for those of you not really aware of how this whole podcasting thing works, um, those reviews on specific, especially iTunes really help yes. out a lot. Yes. Um, it bumps you up. It gets you more visibility. The more um, ratings and comments you have, it really helps out. So if you you know could go over to the old iTunes and uh, give that a, th- a not a thumbs up, but give it the stars and a comment, that would be awesome sauce. So Nate, yeah, just thank you for comment. Much. Yeah, Nate is in our Facebook group as well. We are 130 strong in the Facebook group. Oh, sweet. Uh, my friend, uh, I, my friend uh, Nick Stockweather just asked to join the group, so I just gave an approval to... Look at that. So, yeah, we just got another one. So, uh, you know, the Facebook group is a lot of fun because, um, you know, everybody's able to talk about beers they're finding. We get, uh, you know, questions about, you know, the right beer temperature, um, you know, uh, some questions about people, you know, saying how, you know, it's kind of expensive um, or just like people just posting what they're drinking. Uh, so it's kind of cool. Um, if yeah. you want to check it out, it is uh, facebook.com slash groups slash bearded hops. And that's B E E R, the drink beer, it did hops. Um, so that is there. You can also, we also have a Facebook page. Um, you can check that out as well, bearded hops. I think it's just facebook.com slash bearded hops. Yep, that's what it is. Twitter, bearded hops. Uh, and of course, the website, we're on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher. Tune in. Oh, did you say Instagram? Insta. We're on Insta. We're on Insta. We are on Insta. Um, so yeah, uh, tell We're, your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your wives, tell your kids. Uh, I don't tell your kids; they probably can't drink. But <laughs> <laughs> tell your kids. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. When you grow up, this is this is who you want to listen to. <laughs> Depending on how old your kids are, if your kids are like three or four, we're going to be around that long. Well, yeah, twenty-one. Why wouldn't we be? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. We do have somebody. Now, if you are um, also, we also on YouTube, like we said, you can watch this podcast. Um, if you're listening to it, thank you very much. If you're listening to it on iTunes, you can also go watch and see our glorious bearded faces. And uh, you can see, you know, when we hold up the cans and the bottles and the beers. Uh, we actually have somebody right now on YouTube watching us right now because we are streaming as well. We record today. We actually put that on our Facebook group. So you guys. First can, time we've done that. First time we've done that. So you can see kind of a. Uh, um, because you, it, it's funny if, if you're you know, the one person, whoever it is right now watching, you're if you, you're watching this and you're you're going to listen to this later and you're going to see what's edited out. And usually it's mostly, chat. yeah, it, I don't get edited out, chat. It, yeah, because I make a lot of stupid mistakes and well, comments. I'm the one doing and, the editing, so I can edit it out. <laughs> well, that's true. I that's true. Actually, oh, if, if I was good enough, I'd put something over that Packer symbol on your sweatshirt every time it shows like a bear symbol on. Uh, I'm, I'm not that good though so I can't so it doesn't really matter so I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that uh, but thank you guys for so much for listening <laughs> and um, now if you are in the Facebook group right ever, I'm sorry geez, I can't back up. if you are on the um, YouTube page right now <laughs> my gosh 
Use your words. Use your words. <laughs> you know, Johnny, use your words. Uh, you should see a, a chat over there if you're logged into YouTube, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, so that's how you get a hold of us. That's how you see us. If you have any questions, you can always email us at chat at Beard Hops or Adam at Beard Hops. And uh, thanks so much. This one, this is probably our, this is our lowest rating. For the beer, yeah. Yeah, it's the lowest one we've done. So um, we got some good stuff coming up. Of course, we do have the CBS. We have the Goose Islands. Hey, check this out. My Uncle Ron just texted me. Are you live on YouTube right now? Hey. Ron. <laughs> I said Ron. <laughs> yeah, Ron. Thanks. Hey. Hey, Ron. Yep. Yeah, he says, are you live right now? We are live. So, yeah. We are, we live. are live. We are live. So. <laughs> that's awesome uh so today yeah we did do the sam adams uh 76 and uh, didn't go too well but you know they can't all be good they can all be fantastic so he says i can see you <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah what am i what am i doing right now yeah that's awesome that's so all cool right. oh, i think we did it i think we have another one in yeah. the can another episode in the books uh, all right so we got to say uh, my uh, uncle ron is texting still we are currently live on a 75 inch TV in, uh, oh in his, he's got a, he's got a man cave in his barn and he probably has a bunch of people over watching football. So oh, man, he says, uh, I have a full barn. I am for- so tempted to show that barn my ass right now. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wonder, so, I mean, I have a big ass already, but on a 75 inch TV, <laughs> a 75 inch TV, that would scare everybody away. He'd lose his whole party. Give me away, dumbass! Never. What are you thinking, <laughs> dumbass? I'm showing my ass. Look at that 75 <laughs> inch Sam 76 right there on your screen, boys. It's a big ass bird. <laughs> That's awesome. That's uh, hilarious. Awesome. Can Good get, stuff. Can, uh, Ron, right, Uncle Ronnie? Can you can you text a picture yep. of that to chat so we can see what that looks like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're kind of wrapped up with this podcast. But yeah. if you send me a send me a picture, I'll I'll show the picture on YouTube of you guys watching us on YouTube. <laughs> Wait a minute. We might just totally break the like time continuum. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> I'm going to show you showing me showing you showing me. I'm confused. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so he's probably he's he's probably watching me text him. Because <laughs> I text you. Well, if he's got the sound on, he should be able to hear us. Just and if you have the it. sound on, <clears throat> turn that up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Okay. Well, I guess we should have finished. We, we haven't officially like closed this out so I can edit that part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thanks guys for listening and we will uh, talk to you next time. And uh, cheers. Oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait. oh, here we go. Oh, uh, oh, oh, hold on. Oh. <clears throat> uh, he said the belch had no tone, by the way. <laughs> So I don't have a picture of the party, but here is a picture of the barn man cave with the 75 inch TV (laughs) with my out of focus. You probably can't focus on that, but yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Ron, very much for putting us up on the (laughs) the screen. Appreciate that. (laughs) That's cool. Very cool. Hey, we had fun uh, as always, and uh, we look forward to the next one to drink some more good independent beer. Absolutely. All right. Thanks guys for listening. Later y'alls.